China successfully launched the Smart Skynet 1 satellite ahead on confrontation with Musk's Starlink. In the fierce competition for global satellite internet services, China has demonstrated its ambition and strength in the field of aerospace science and technology to the world with the launch of the Smart Skynet 1 satellite. This satellite not only represents technological progress, but also a forward-looking layout for future global communication methods. The successful launch of Smart Skynet 1 not only enhances China's status in the international aerospace field, but also poses a direct challenge to SpaceX's Starlink project, indicating that the global communications service market is about to usher in new changes. So, comparing the Chinese and American star chains, which one is stronger and which one is weaker? Let us find out in this video. The Starlink satellite launched by SpaceX in the United States has long become the benchmark for global commercial satellite constellation operations. At present, its expansion speed is still accelerating, gradually spreading a large network to the world. According to reports, SpaceX has broken launch records this year, compressing the Starlink launch cycle from the original 10.7 days to 3.92 days. In other words, nearly 2,000 satellites can be launched in a year, which is within easy reach of the final target of 42,000. What's more, Musk also emphasized that the launch cycle will be increased to once every two days in 2024, and the goal can be achieved as soon as 2027, occupying more than 70% of the satellite space in space. Data shows that Starlink has been suffering huge losses for a long time in the past. It was not until 2022 that the situation improved, with revenue reaching 1.4 billion US dollars. On March 20th, SpaceX chief financial officer Brett Johnson stated that Starlink achieved profitability for the first time at the end of last year, but declined to provide more details. According to calculations by relevant organizations, its net revenue in 2023 is likely to exceed 3 billion US dollars. This is due to Starlink's users all over the world. By the end of 2023, its service users have reached 65 countries and more than 2.3 million people. It is conceivable that Starlink, which is developing rapidly, not only makes Musk excited, but also other countries, such as China. At 9.43 on May 9, Beijing time, China's Long March 3B carrier rocket successfully ignited and lifted off at the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. The Smart Skynet 101 satellite, AB, was sent into the predetermined orbit, and the launch mission was a complete success. Smart Skynet will consist of a group of eight medium-orbit broadband communication network satellites deployed in an orbit at an altitude of 20,000 kilometers. It will form a communication constellation covering the world and can be expanded to 16-star, 32-star and other coverage networks as needed. After the constellation is completed, Personalized broadband network services with global coverage without blind spots will be achieved. It can also work with low-orbit satellite internet and high-orbit satellite internet to build a unified space-based 6G network to achieve access to all types of users in all scenarios and all areas. As China's first medium-orbit broadband communication satellite, Smart Skynet 101 includes a technology verification satellite A and a test satellite B. Star A is equipped with multi-beam high-speed microwave links, inter-satellite bidirectional laser links and on-board digital processing and forwarding platforms. Satellite B is equipped with an inter-satellite laser link trial load, and in orbit it mainly conducts core technology verification of flexible exchange of satellite ground and inter-satellite information. After the launch of Satellite 01, 
Large capacity on satellite processing and switching technology experiments will be carried out through technological innovations, such as satellite ground flexible beams and inter-satellite high-speed laser links to meet the needs of users' random access, and interconnection of internet services. After running in orbit, the satellite will also carry out application demonstrations in typical scenarios such as direct connection of scientific research data between China's domestic and Antarctic scientific research stations and real-time backhaul of low-orbit satellite data. It lays a solid foundation for building an innovative experimental platform for space networks and exploring application models for the smart Skynet industry. The successful launch of the Smart Skynet 101 satellite marks the critical first step in the comprehensive implementation of the Smart Skynet Innovation Project. After the completion of the Smart Skynet, China will have the advantage of efficient broadband coverage and both satellite ground and inter-satellite communication capabilities. In recent years, Competition between China and the United States in the field of science and technology has intensified, especially in the field of communication technology. From a technical perspective, the Starlink satellite network is planned to consist of 42,000 satellites and will cover network connections anywhere and at any time around the world. China's Tiantong-1 satellite communication system is composed of multiple satellites and can provide seamless communication services for mobile phones, satellite phones, data transmission, and other equipment. It can be said that both have their advantages and limitations. First of all, in terms of coverage, Starlink plans to provide network connections globally while Tiantong-1 is mainly targeted at the Chinese market. This seems to be conducive to Starlink's expansion in overseas markets, but it actually limits its application prospects in China. Secondly, considering the technical level, the Starlink satellite network plan uses advanced low-Earth orbit satellite technology to provide users with high-speed internet access services. Tiantong-1 uses traditional high-orbit satellite technology. Although the technology is relatively mature, it is slow and costly. Of course, speed is not the only criterion. Factors such as the popularity of terminal devices and user experience also need to be considered. Finally, from the perspective of the industrial chain, satellite communication technology requires matching ground equipment, terminal equipment, and corresponding maintenance and operation capabilities. In this regard, China Tiantong No. 1 has a relatively complete industrial chain and operational capabilities. Starlink is still in the development stage. Although SpaceX plans to gradually improve the satellite network through multiple batches of launches, the entire industry chain has not yet been fully formed. Taken together, China and the United States each have their own advantages and disadvantages in satellite communication technology. Although the Starlink project has advantages in some aspects, it still needs continuous improvement and development as a whole. Especially in the Chinese market, Tiantong-1 already has a relatively complete industrial chain and operational capabilities, which to a certain extent provides opportunities and challenges for the future development of Sino-US satellite communication technology. In short, in the field of satellite communication technology, the gap between China and the United States is not getting wider and wider. Although SpaceX's Starlink project is actively deploying satellite communication network construction, China's Tiantong-1 satellite communication system already has a relatively complete industrial chain and operational capabilities. In the future, with the continuous development and innovation of technology, it is believed that the competition between China and the United States in the field of satellite communications 
will become more intense and diversified. In recent years, China has accelerated the construction of a complete commercial aerospace ecosystem, and the low-orbit satellite industry has ushered in rapid development. In 2022, a total of 186 satellite orbital launches were carried out around the world, with 178 successes. Among them, China has successfully launched 62 times, with a success rate of 96.88%, second only to the United States. As Huawei and Apple launch smartphones that support satellite communication functions, such as Huawei Mate 50, Mate 60 and iPhone 14, satellite communications are gradually entering the consumer market, and this field has become the focus of competition for all parties. At present, China's satellite production capacity is continuing to develop. The introduction of intelligent and integrated industrial production lines into the field of satellite manufacturing will improve the traditional satellite manufacturing model and mass production, will meet the construction needs of new satellite internet infrastructure. According to Chinese experts, the division of labor in the satellite industry is very strict. SpaceX Starlink adopts an efficient business strategy and conducts in-depth optimization and verification of system design. China has taken a similar approach, but it may take some time as the industry is not yet fully mature. SpaceX moves relatively quickly, setting costs through scale growth and formulating a vision, and striking a balance between risk and commercial return. This method is similar to ordering long-term agreements with suppliers, stipulating prices in advance, and ensuring the performance of the contract through accurate judgments of industry prospects. The strategy of enjoying the dividends of reduced business costs in advance enables SpaceX to maintain competition in the market. The industry's leading mobile phone manufacturers have directly connected to satellites, giving people a basic understanding of satellite communications. This will undoubtedly accelerate the development of low-orbit satellites, and the capital market's enthusiasm for commercial aerospace is rising. With the advancement of 5G per 6G commercialization and the deployment of space cloud computing resources, the advantages of satellite internet, such as low cost, high efficiency, and no regional differences, will be highlighted. Learning from overseas development models, China must accelerate the application of satellite internet. In addition to space segment infrastructure on the ground terminal side, it is necessary to accelerate the pace of technological innovation, emerge more startup companies with core technologies, and compete moderately, just like there are many new energy vehicle companies in China. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.